we're here. Good morning, everybody. Our first assignment is waiting for us in Morden, Manitoba, down near Winkler. Probably less than an hour from the North Dakota border. load of some farm equipment I believe and hopefully it's not going to be too intense this is the place that sometimes it takes a little bit of time to tie it down but we'll do our best and uh, we'll get her secured and bring her back to the yard get it ready for the highway driver where's this pickup truck going now it's just been creeping through town it's creeping it's like 20 kilometers an hour in the 50 zone all right anyway, get out of my way bud Good choice, good choice. I wonder what they're doing here. They've been redoing this road. Well, this is Highway 75. They've been redoing this road since they built it. This highway is a meme already. It is never complete. It's never finished. Because they'll finish it all the way to one end and then they'll just start back over at the other end. Just always, every year. When you, when you think of Highway 75 in your mind, you see that highway over there, all that rubble? That's what comes to mind when you say Highway 75 to me. Eternally under construction. Whoever's got the contract to maintain this highway is doing really well. They got their retirement plan set in stone, set in concrete, let's say. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, whoever's got the contract to maintain this highway is doing really well for themselves. They've got it made. Because they make it just good enough to last about one season. And they gotta fix it again. Ha! How about that? But that's sort of like it is everywhere, isn't it? It's always like that. put our empty over there with the others. I'm take a quick look at what we're dealing with here. All right. Okay. A lot better than some that we've seen. Oh, good thing they put this mighty band on here, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Crates here, at least they lined those up nice. I don't know what the point of the bands are if they're that loose, but okay. Can I put a strap through these things? Is that rubber? Nope, I'm gonna have to go between there down over here I see some paint missing on here already that was not from us okay okay I'll go over there and tie that down as well I can probably go right over here to tie that down and on this side nope Okay, big crate, all right. And then these guys, how solid are these things? They look kind of flimsy, but yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. You tell me to drag this back to the yard, I'll get her back there. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. I'm gonna have to focus and get this done right. What a gong show every time with these loads. It's just a, a gong show. They just decide to load them however they want and we gotta figure it out. So finally got everything to the point where everything is pinned down. Cause I don't trust those bands at all. But the back isn't as bad as the front. frustrating because you can obviously tell that the people who load the trailers 
know that they won't have to haul them. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. It's made it a little more difficult on me. Yeah, that just tests my brain and my skills a little bit, right? I got her done. I would have done it a little differently myself, but that's okay. This load is going all the way to Indiana. Tomorrow I'm gonna need that uh, that flatbed roll tight right there, and we got a load in Toulon. And they want me there at noon. Sounds me good. Oh, or maybe we can take this one or that one. I got options. I just need a roll tight. I'll get here in the morning and I'll pick my favorite, and we'll take that one. Does that sound? Maybe we'll have some time to shiny up with little chrome I have left on this truck tomorrow morning <laughs> do what we can with what we got right so here it is what a mess what a mess this was the worst part right here you see I've got all kinds of straps coming in at all different angles to make sure that that's all pinned down because that was all on there loose just loose and then there's a big crate on the other side there yet right and so the strap has to go over the crate and then come back down over all of this loose stuff and pin it all down so it doesn't move we got her done i don't know if it's pretty but it didn't go anywhere we didn't lose any <laughs> and they use these little bands right that are useless they don't really uh, do much. You see, they're just melted together. They really should be using steel bands, but that's just me. Yeah, we got this bunch of stuff out here, bunch of stuff back here. We made it work. So I'm going to drop the trailer right here. I'm going to leave all my load securement on it, and the highway driver will get here tomorrow or whenever he's leaving and double check it make sure it's up to his standards at least it's uh got a good head start if it's not up to his standards right and then he'll be good to go he won't have to spend the whole day tying it down like i did i'll get new load securement tomorrow usually i take all this back right but on a load like this when it was so hard to tie down took so long there's no point in doing it twice right there's no point in me doing it and then another guy having to do the same thing on the same load And we off to Indiana. So for now, oh, I went back too far. Oh, did you guys notice that already? I gotta move it up. Never get it right. Never get it right. It's been a beautiful day today, though. Nice. Oh, I guess I could have gone forward a little bit more yet, but ah, oh, we're on the concrete. That's all that matters, barely. But we're on the concrete. So I'm gonna go home. Uh, the motorcycle wasn't, uh, well, the motorcycle's gotta be safety yet before I take possession. And that takes a little bit of time. Every, everything always takes longer than you want it to. Uh, it's scheduled to go into the shop tomorrow. 
it's got to go into like a, not every place does motorcycle safeties i'm not sure where you live in the world and if you know what a safety is before i can register it under my name and uh put a license plate on it and make it legal to ride on the road under my name uh, i have to have a certificate of inspection done on the motorcycle and it has to be within the last year uh, so we got to get that done before I can register it. So we have the agreement that they were going to do that for me so that I can just take the bike, go to Manitoba Public Insurance and transfer my registration from my old bike to my new bike and we'll be all set to go. But uh, so it's going in tomorrow for that and uh, it needs a new front tire. It needs new oil in the shocks and the forks up front. And uh, I think that was it. Not too much. I mean, it's a 2005, right? It doesn't need too much, so it, it should uh, it should only take a couple of days. They have to order the tire in and stuff. That's what's going to take a little bit longer, unfortunately. But if they get it there tomorrow morning or tomorrow during the day sometime, was well, Tuesday, I should have it by, by the weekend, I think. So It's going to be raining all week anyway, so it's not going to get much riding in. But according to the long-range forecast right now, I don't want to jinx it, okay, so what do you got to do? Hold your breath, uh, knock on wood, do whatever you got to do to make sure that I'm not jinxing it right now, okay? But next weekend, maybe I shouldn't even say it. I'm going to say it. Oh, I'm going to wreck it. Next weekend is supposed to be sunny and hot, no rain. I said it. Let's hope that didn't just ruin it, but next weekend... If all is good, I'll have the bike by then, and we'll go cruising. So, let's unhook from this trailer. Let's put it into a better gear. There we go. Leave landing gear down. Unhook. Go run over to the pickup. And make our way home. Would have been a great day to ride in today, though, eh? What a beautiful afternoon. Would have been nice to ride home on a bike, but... There will be lots of riding in my future, don't you worry. We have all summer yet. Summer hasn't even gotten here yet. And we'll have years to come. The 650 will do. Do just or be just perfect for me. And then once we build our house get into a good spot financially and once we get settled into the house uh, like I said earlier then we can start talking about upgrading to the big Harley maybe get like an 1800 or something something to knock your socks off but before you get fun things you have to take care of the necessities so I've already got a, a, a bike it's a 650 and you know that's enough fun for now first I have to take care of my home my family, we may have kids. We uh, are saving up for IVF because IUI wasn't working. Why am I grabbing this? I don't need this. Wait a minute. This is what I was looking for. Ah. Oh, of course, everything is hooked onto it. Everything. Yeah, if it's got a hook, it'll hook. What am I saying? That's why I hate putting stuff in here. Sorry guys, I just whacked you with my stick. What was I saying though? Yeah, the IUI didn't work for us for uh, having a baby. So we're on to the next step, which is IVF. And that's a $15,000 procedure. So it's going to take us a little while to save up for that. Lower the air and the suspension. This creep forward just a little bit after I release the brakes. Okay. I'm just letting the suspension come down so that it lets the trailer legs rest on the ground. There we go. Beautiful. Put the air back in the suspension. Give it a second. It fills up really quick on this truck. All right. There she was, another day in the books. Have a good 
guys shown you or have I shown you guys this uh, crane truck we have yet? You see that over there? They're gonna train me on that uh, in the next couple of weeks. So there might be some days in the future when you know we go pick up those poles and we bring it to a remote location and we unload them ourselves with that little crane. I'm excited to be trained on that and learn how to use that stuff. We have two trucks like that as far as I know. weekend so I parked it on the gravel I didn't want it to get all muddy and dirty there she is I gotta park over here though there she is nice and clean and pretty looking good shiny I have different shades for each vehicle and if I take them out of one vehicle into the next vehicle, I forget them there. And then I don't have shades the next time I get in the last vehicle. And then my whole day is ruined. <laughs> Maybe not ruined, but. Oh. oh yes, the sweet, sweet air conditioning. One sec guys, gotta, gotta just uh, throw you in here. go. A little behind the scenes footage for you. Why not? Feeling special today. Alright, so let's get you guys plugged in so you don't die on me. Nobody wants to die today. You're plugged in and there you go. There's some juice. You feel better? Good. 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 Let's get out of here. Oh, whoa, 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 why am I going so fast? My truck is clean. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's actually not perfectly clean anymore at all. Oh, I gotta wipe the dust off of there. That's what happens. That's what happens. Having a clean vehicle isn't just a thing that happens. It's, uh, it's a continuous fight. I washed both vehicles this weekend and a big rainstorm came in immediately after I polished both vehicles. I was sad. But after the rainstorm, they were both still pretty clean. But now this one's got a layer of dust on it already, I see. Hmm. You think we can make it underneath that arm? Should I go under there? <laughs> I probably could go under there. If I was on my motorbike, yeah. <laughs> Open says me, says I. Faster, 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 faster. Uh, don't worry, you thought I was gonna hit it. <laughs> uh, I'm not silly, I'm silly, I'm not that silly. Then I'd have to fix it. I don't know how to fix a gate like that. Today's a very special day. Where is he? Where is he? Hey. There he is. Birthday boy. He's the big one one today. 11 years old. And we came to the dog park to celebrate. He's never been to one. Oh, it's a never? Special gift. No. He's never been to one? He's been to doggy daycare, but never to a dog park outside. Oh, yeah. I know. Wanna go? Frank wants to meet some ladies. He's been talking about it all evening. You don't tell mom the boss, right? Hi. Hi. Some of the bigger dogs we met yesterday. Hey, Frank, you ready for this? You ready? Come on. Frank? So that's 
side over there is for the big dogs. And then this side here is for the little dogs. It's actually really nice. They just got the fence and a few benches right now, but uh, I hear they're supposed to be installing water fountains for the dogs and stuff and agility play structures. Wiener, what you doing out here all by yourself? I scare you. <laughs> Off on an adventure. There's lots of dogs here today. Just behind me over there. Giesel, we went to the dog park without you. You too, Chevy. It's true. It's true. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I'm mad. Jeez. What are you doing right here? She's my girlfriend. She's one of them. Frank made a girlfriend too. on Lucy? Long distance is hard. I get it. I get it. I got multiples. <laughs> one in there. every state, one in every province. <laughs> it's because you're such a stud. You wish, Diesel. So the backyard is looking green. We thought that the grass wasn't going to come in and you know there's a, a lot of weeds in here we got to take care of but at least it's green right? It's just the dogs area to run around and it doesn't have to be nice grass. The man in me really wants it to be perfect, fine, beautiful, lush, manicured lawn but that can never happen when you have dogs. It can never happen so this is good enough. And the dogs, it's such high traffic that they, they keep it pretty short. We sort of just have to mow around the edges for the most part. Our thickest lawn is over here. Gets the most sunlight here though too, so that's probably why. And it's not perfect at all, but it's a good fenced in area for the boys. It's all we need. It's so nice outside. birthday boy's just out. He played hard. You see him trying to keep up with that little puppy Yorkie? <laughs> he gave her. Well, that's it for today. What is today, Monday? It is. We're almost to the end of the week. We've already gotten through Monday. Frank, anything left to say? Nothing, just enjoying the butt scratches. <laughs> that's how we'll end it. Ended on a good note, on a good butt scratch. It's the best way to end a day, butt scratch.